Is it okay to land with your chest down in the middle of the circle? how to do the full rotation or really when we're learning how to do any part or working on any technical part of the throw a lot of times the way we think about it is different than actually how it looks so here's here's what I mean we have in our mind we need to have a perfect model in our mind so when we're thinking about how we want to throw when we're thinking about the feeling of the throw we must think perfectly now the difference is, or where, where it changes is, when we're actually accomplishing the drill, when we're actually accomplishing the throw, it's probably not gonna be perfect. Practically speaking, when you're thinking of the throw, when we're in the throw, you need to think chest upright, level shoulders. And you want perfectly upright, perfectly level. So like if I'm going to step into the circle, say I'm coming off of my left and landing in the middle, this is how you want to train. You want to train with the chest up, you want to train with your arms out. Um, rather than um, letting your, like purposely letting yourself be bent over. Why do we want our chest up when we land in the middle? We want our chest up so that the orbit of the discus can be natural and not forced. We are the strongest. We're gonna apply the most force to whether it's the discus or the shot put when our center of mass is directly on top of our feet, right? So, so if, let's just say I'm leaning like this, can I put more pressure on the discus here? Or am I gonna put more pressure on the discus over here? This way I'm on top of my feet, here I'm off my feet. And so, so being, having a, your chest up when you land in the middle puts your torso on top of your feet and it puts that over the discus way out and around rather than, than slicing through. So when we, we bend over in the middle, we're actually taking the discus and we're shortening its path. So our ideal path of the discus is really wide, really long. And, any, and if we're straight up and down, big in the middle when we land, then that discus can go way out and around. Well, when we bend down, that's gonna force the discus towards our body and up too soon. We're gonna end up with something like this when we land and it's gonna change everything. So when we are, when we're coming into the circle, uh, from the back half to the middle, all right? So let's just say I'm throwing towards you. This line right here is the center of the, is the, center of the ring. In a full spin, I am starting facing this direction. So after I take my first turn, now here I'm going to run straight. So the question is, uh, can you land in the middle of the ring with your chest down? And so my answer is no. You want your chest all the way up uh, perpendicular to the ground. So you want to make contact with your right foot whenever that right foot lands. This needs to be straight up and arms out big like this. Now, that's how I want you to think, that's how I want it to feel. There's gonna be some style, you'll probably either be twisted more or bent over a little. But the more that you're upright, the more that your shoulders re represent a T. When your right foot makes contact in the middle, then the more stable you are, the more balanced you are, and the wider that discus orbit is gonna be. And so when you are, your torso is on top of your feet, let's just say here at the front of the th throw, I'm gonna let go of this discus. When your torso is on top of your feet, and this is straight up and down, that discus is way out here, and you get to push the ground to work the discus. All right, so if you land here a little bit bent over in the middle, that's just gonna get exaggerated as your left foot comes down here. So let me exaggerate this. So say you land like this, and then you here, and then we launch like that. But if you can land in the middle, on top of your feet, chest up, shoulders wide, then as that left foot comes down, you can see that I'm still in balance, still in balance, still in balance, 
And now that discus is way out here, and that's where you're going to get your farthest throw. So um, have some grace when you're doing the full spin. Um, when you're reviewing your film, like seeing where you are, you may be bent over a little bit. But when you drill and when you're doing half turns, always try to hit this position perfectly, right? Think tall, think wide, and you're going to have farther throws like that. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Remember to head over to my website, bowmanthrows.com, to see my best training resources. You guys are doing great, and I'll see you on the next video.